guys and welcome back to G's Autos. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really excited about today. It was great to catch up with the Duck and Damo and just see what's been happening with the Ute. And it's been completely resprayed. The color looks absolutely awesome. I love it. I reckon it's just, yeah, it's, it's great. I really do like it. And um, we're also looking at in depth, um, a bit more at the brake, the front brake setup which you guys will see. We'll take a look at the intercooler, another take another look at the engine. And so, yeah, this build is, as you can see from when you get into this video, all the bits are coming together and it's getting really exciting. So really looking forward to seeing this uh, project keep moving forward. Anyway, guys, enough out of me. I hope you liked the video. If you want to see more on the Ute or any of the, uh, uh, any of the other cars I've got on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. And um, anyway, enough out of me, guys. I'll see you on the next one. All right, guys, so here is the reveal of the new color for the Datsun Ute. Now, it's not a uh, just a straight black. Uh, it does have a like a metallic fleck through it and with a bit of a green in the black as well. But um, it's come up really, really nice, I must say. Um, the boys are really happy with it. Let's take a look at the engine bay. So everything got done. They're just not happy with one section, which is the rear passenger quarter, which we'll have a look at now. They've just, um, there was apparently a little bit of um, the undercoat or a little bit of filler in there, which had a little, they had a little bit of an issue with. And you can see where they just rubbed it back and this will get fixed up in a couple of days time this rear quarter is going to get <coughs> pardon me pardon me that um rear quarter is going to get painted again but apart from that it looks absolutely fantastic look it was just painted here in the shed uh the guys did a full scrub down of the shed before it was painted make sure they got as much loose dust out of the out of the top of the shed as possible before it was painted wetted the floor down and for a shed job, uh, especially painting black, uh, I think it's come up absolutely fantastic and the boys are happy. It's got six coats of clear, good quality clear. So uh, there's plenty of uh, thickness there for them to uh, rub down and buff uh, in case there are little bits, of, um, little bits of debris in the paintwork, which there is little spots here and there. But it looks absolutely fantastic. All right, let's take a look at the hood. All right, guys, I did video this already, but uh, the phone had a conniption. It's very, very hot out here, and the phone went into meltdown mode, so it didn't record. But anyway, this is the hood. Uh, the boys aren't happy with it. It is going to get um, painted again, but I'm, I'm hoping the, um, the metallic-type fleck is coming up in the picture. It's got a blue, and it's also got like a bit of a goldy slight goldy fleck in there as well now the paint used on the car was actually left over from that uh, show car the boys bought with the crocodile interior the um, hsv so there's a whole bunch of paint that came with the car so they used it on the uh, datsun and it's, it's come up beautiful so hopefully you guys are seeing this okay it's i really do hope it's showing up anyway let's have a look at some of the interior pieces so here's the dash the dash is all been done Whoop. and here is the gauge cluster surround now all this was uh, that the airbrushing was done by a guy up in Toowoomba who does all this kind of thing and um, yeah it's come up really good now there is going to be a slight green theme on a couple of different spots on the car which this forms part of but um, all that's been done the grill's been done. I can't see anything at the moment because of the light. It's so bright out here. But it's been done in a two-tone. It's got silver. And then the uh, inset pieces have been done in a grey. And looks really, really good. So a lot of time and effort has gone into that. Just trying to mask it, separate the two colour areas and paint it. But uh, yeah, looking really good. So let's take a look at some more pieces. All right, guys, I've already filmed this, but um, the uh, phone heat died again. Okay, let's try this again. 
Now, for those of you who haven't done this kind of thing before, this takes so much time and effort. Getting all these secondhand pieces or pieces originally off the car, everything's been cleaned up, fitted, uh, sorry, cleaned up and um, refurbished, I should say. So all these calipers here have all been, uh, have new kits put through them. So these front ones here are off the, uh, they're, they're the going on the rear, they're the Bluebird uh, rear calipers. And these ones here are off a of Sylvia, they're going on the front. Now I'm going to explain a little bit more about the adaption that's needed to get those to fit. But here's all some more interior trim pieces, all being cleaned up, gauges, stereo going into it. We've got here the custom brake lines for the diff. You would have remembered that from one of the previous episodes we were talking about that. All the front steering components, they've all been cleaned up, blacked out. You've got new ball joints. Uh, anything on there that needed to be replaced, it's been replaced. So it's all brand new, it's ready to go. All right. Now, here's some more interior bits and pieces, and I think some exterior bits and pieces as well. So all of those have been individually cleaned up, painted. You know the story. All right, now the control arms, they've all been cleaned up and painted. They've come up really good. There is the cross member, cleaned up, painted, ready to go. Front sway bar, all done. Now, what we're going to do is have a look at the brake setup. Okay, so these, these spindles or axles down here that are attached to the uh, coilovers. Now... These are off a uh, off the Datsun, off the original Datto Ute. Okay, now there's the adapter plate, which is used to bolt the uh, Sylvia calipers onto there. Okay, now if we come over here, I'm going to grab one of these and come back to the shade so the camera doesn't decide to die again. All right, this here. That there is a disc off a 120Y Datsun, okay? Now what they do, apparently they machine it down, machine it down, sorry, bring it right down. So that fits over the top now of the, sorry, the Datsun axle, okay, on the front end. Now what gets straight over the top now is the, uh, the Sylvia discs. So the Sylvia disc will go straight over the top, everything bolts up, there's your happy days. All brand new bolts for the wheel nuts, everything like that, new bearings, new brake pads, you name it. Uh, everything brand new going on in regards to all of those different components. So hopefully that answers some of the questions you guys were wondering about, um, what kind of front brakes, rear rear brakes, how does it all work? Um, yeah, so the boys have spent a fair bit of time researching this and finding pieces, and so it's all starting to come together. All right, guys, I know I've shown you uh, you all the engine before, but uh, let's just take one, another, uh, well, let's just take another look at it. This is the beast that will be going into it. Very, very cool. So the guys are, uh, I would say in the next two or three weeks, we'll be just slotting the engine in and a couple of other bits just to get an idea of uh, how it all is going to look, how it's going to fit. Uh, we might even take a look at the uh, intercooler if that's handy. Uh, we'll see if that's still around because the boys did dig it out. The boys did dig it out before, so I'll see if we can have a look at that. All right, guys, it's take two time on the intercooler phone. Died again. All right, this is the intercooler they're using. Front mount, obviously. Uh, this is something that's just readily available off the internet. So that is what's going into it. Now, let's have a look at where they're still deciding what they're going to do in regards to keeping the engine cool uh, with the radiator. So they have discussed a little bit of fabrication they're going to do here. This um, metal shroud that's right there uh, that they're going to cut that out so it gives them a bit more of a flat space up against here okay so there was talk of possibly a commodore radiator or something like that that hasn't been finalized yet the guys are still investigating to make sure they put the right solution into the car 
that's obviously keeping a cool is really important uh, on the front here is where the intercooler is going to go um, obviously some fabrication is required there uh, and the boys are going to work through that over the next few weeks but uh, look it's coming together as I said the duck is itching to get into this he's uh, he's getting every, all his excuse the pun but all his ducks lined up uh, all the pieces are coming together ready to go on and uh, it's going to look absolutely fantastic all right guys thanks for watching i uh, hope you enjoyed the video uh hit subscribe if you'd like to see more on this project and um, we'll keep the information coming but this is uh looking really really good and i uh, can't wait to see this thing finished all right guys thanks see ya